There's all this funding right now from the federal government through the Inflation Reduction Act. And with that funding, which is funding energy transition and infrastructure and emerging contaminants, and the government is asked as they make those investments in innovation to kind of bring us to that clean energy future, they want companies that are receiving that funding to also benefit the communities that their those projects are happening in. So Geosyntech has had an opportunity to support our clients, really establishing some aspirational goals on how these projects that are innovative and bringing us kind of into the future through infrastructure and energy and climate change but also bringing along the communities where these projects are happening. So we wrote a grant for a portfolio company. They got a $30 million grant. As a part of that grant, they developed a community benefits plan, which includes educational programs for STEM education in elementary schools, workforce training, technology centers and community colleges to make sure that the workers of the future are being trained for this energy transition and all these green industry jobs that will be available. We have a great group of professionals that build into these plans. So sometimes the plans are looking from a community engagement and we have folks that are very skilled in, in that aspect from a public relations perspective, but also identifying the stakeholders that need to be included. And then the technical background. Sometimes we're evaluating from a technical aspect first some of the challenges that community might be facing because of historic contamination or historic pollutants, and then using that data and information to then either educate the community or find some solutions to those challenges. So we, we bring a really multidisciplined team to that group um, and to our clients in that regard.